Are you stressed out? Is your mind clouded? Listen to this message as you strengthen your relationship with God. Exchange in that scripture. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I'm living. But it's really not I that is living. The definition of life for me in this new context is to live out Christ, another personality. Oh, you're not following. Now, listen to me. The Christian is a complicated individual. It's complicated because he has... He has... Um, the life of God in his spirit. Christ dwells in his spirit. He has human life in his soul. Human life in his soul. Do you still remember the book of Genesis? Chapter 2, from verse 5 to 7. It says, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb before it had grown, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the face of the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. You see, remember that? God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life. So there, there was a life that man was given. But that life made him a living soul. That life gave him consciousness in his intellect. It gave him consciousness, gave him capacity, intellectual capacity, so that he can relate with his environment. That life he received was human life, and the root of that life is in the human soul. And that's why someone that is not born again, he has his own matrix of existence. And all of that is from the soul realm. He lives from that investment. Are you there? So it's possible for somebody to be born again and still living from the resources that find expression in the soul. It means it's a, it's, it's a self-centered Christian. It's a selfish Christian. Right? Somebody can be born again and he's still into fornication. That one is a carnal Christian. He's living on the basis of the instincts of his physical senses. He's a slave to his flesh. Are you there? That's a carnal Christian. Then we have a soulish Christian that is living from the resources of his soul. It is his human intelligence that drives his life. He's operating from the soul, living by human life. A spiritual man is living from the resources that are in his spirit, in Christ Jesus. Are you there? All right, so Paul is giving us a description of the kind of life he now has as a believer in Jesus Christ. He understands fully well that the basis of his newfound experience is on the basis of substitution. Jesus gave out his place so that he can enter into Jesus' place. So he's given us a description of his new life, the new basis of his existence, what he now calls life. He said the life Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. According to Apostle Paul, the description of his life now is giving expression to the promptings of Christ within his spirit. Not his soul and not his body. You are not following me. Are you there? He's saying that there is a personality that is living inside my spirit. That personality that is living inside my spirit is my new personality. That's the personality I allow to express itself in my vessel. Meanwhile, there's another personality in your soul. Oh my, you are not following. There's another personality that is in your soul. That personality is Adam. The name of that personality is called Adam the Fallen. Adam the Fallen. Adam the Fallen has been able to talk himself into your soul. Any situation that comes around your life, if you respond from the... Where did, where did I get this? I got it from 2 Corinthians. If you want us to go there, I will show you as in Adam, so in Christ. The, the personality that you find in your soul life is called Adam. Are you there? Okay. So I took 
I took 10 years to study the New Testament. So as to master the idea of the new creation and how the new man of regeneration is supposed to express itself. I didn't want to be in the dark as to what that reality was. So I took 10 years to study just the new, not, not Exodus, not, no, no, no. Are you there? Uh huh. Because if you want to know the Bible, the New Testament is hidden in the old, but the New Testament is, is bare in the new. So I began my study from mastering the new. Then when I had mastered the new, I had eyes to see the New Testament hidden out. out. Sometimes they will hide it in the ceiling. Sometimes they will hide it in the foundation. Sometimes if you won't have eyes to see what God is saying. Are you there? You will not have the eyes because you don't have any reference point. Adam is the personality in your soul. If somebody comes and he slaps you now, and your response to that slap is what you processed in your soul, what you will manifest thereafter, if you yield to the prompting, is you manifest the way Adam would have manifested if you were physically present. You will manifest like Adam the fallen. Any situation that comes your way, if you decide to respond from the soul, what you manifested is Adam. But the description of the Christian life, as it is propelled by Christ, is what Apostle Paul tries to describe to us. Telling us that your real personality, real generated, regenerated personality, is the personality that is in your spirit. It is his promptings that you must always follow. 